AutoCAD offers many options for dimension arrows or leader line arrows but still you can add your own custom arrow styles to AutoCAD. For example, right now I have made an arrow which you can see right now on screen and if you want to use this arrow as your arrow style for dimension or leader line then you can use it. The first requirement for doing so is convert this object into a block. So right now I've made this a geometry. This one is hatch and polylines and I've converted this geometry into a block. So when I click on insert you'll see that custom arrow block has already been made. Make sure that this block is not annotative because annotative blocks cannot be used for making an arrow style. Once you have converted this into your block, you can delete this geometry and now let's bring this geometry. Now let's say I want to dimension this geometry using my custom arrow. For that, click on this annotation bar and uh, expand this annotation panel and click on this dimension style. You can also type dim style on command line and bring this dimension style manager window. On this window, select the dimension which you want to modify. So for example, I want to modify this ISO 25 standard. Select it and click on modify. Now go to symbols and arrow tab. Click on this first arrow drop down and select user arrow. From this user arrow, you'll see list of all the blocks which you can use for making this custom arrow. Right now I have made only a single block and this block is non-annotative. So this list has custom arrow block. So select that block which you want to use for making this arrow style and click on OK. Now the arrow style updates itself. Click on OK and close it. Now when you will move to dimensioning, so let's select this dim command which is in AutoCAD 2016 and let's make this dimension. So here we have this dimension with the same arrow style which we want. Obviously when you click here you'll see the corresponding dimension style. The corresponding dimension style can be seen here as well and for this kind of geometries as well for radius and diameters. So. In this way, you can directly add these arrow styles. It is not necessary that you use this dim command to add this. You can use any other command as well for adding this. So if I add this aligned also or any other dimension, for example, let's say that I want to add this angular dimension and I select these two lines, then also the same dimension style with the same arrow will be added like this. The same arrow style can be implemented on leader lines as well. So for example, let's say that I want to update the multi leader arrow style. So click on this multi leader style manager, click on modify. And in this case also go to this arrow hat panel, click this drop down and go to user arrow. Now again, you need to change this custom arrow and click on OK and OK again and close it. So now when you will use any leader line, it will certainly make the arrow which you want. So here I'm using this leader line and you can directly see that this leader line is making the custom arrow. So here is my custom arrow.